Okay, look under the rock to find the secret Jess kept in her locket. A. The secret? Y'all. Somebody get it then. <laughs> Y'all, we back. What's up? Two years ago. Okay, it's a flashback. Okay, here go Lisa, y'all. I said, what you think? She said, OMG, you look amazing. Are you just saying that, girl? She said, no way. That dress looks great. Okay. On my way to steal your man, sis. Lisa said, tonight's going to be incredible, Jess. I said, we're going to dance till we drop, period. Lisa said, and then Brian's going to be there to catch me. I said, uh, yeah, <laughs> sure, girl, whatever. That sounds romantic. She said, don't worry, Jess. We'll find you a suitable dance partner, too. Maybe Blake or Taylor. Oh, girl, I got one. It's your man. You just don't know that yet. I'm not interested in Blake or Taylor. She said, come on, you got to be interested in somebody. Tell me, Jess. I ain't telling you. Dad said, Jess, Lisa, Brian's here to take you girls to the dance. Lisa said, this is going to be a night to die for. Oh, my God. Not to die for? Lisa, you know what happened to you? Okay, we're back in present day, y'all. The doctor said, your friend Lisa, she's woken up, and she's asking to see you. Why would Lisa be asking to see me? It, it's fine. <laughs> the police are on their way to get her statement. So if you want to speak with her, you'll have to get here fast. I said, I understand. I'll be right there. Okay. Look at them arguing, y'all. <laughs> okay, what do I do, y'all? Um, y'all, we got we gonna keep this a secret for now. I can't tell anybody about this till I got more information. Look at everybody, y'all. Oh shoot, Emily said, "Just wait, Emily, you better not snitch." <laughs> Emily said, "Guys, that was really weird." Arya said, "What was?" She said, never mind. It was probably nothing. Look at me looking cute, y'all. Oh, here go Brian. Brian said, Jess. What, Brian? Hello? He said, where you going? One minute you seemed fine. Then you got the call and went running. What's going on? Y'all, why would Brian... I'm going to hold out for now. I'm going to hold out. Actually, the thing is, I'm not feeling too well. He said, I see. Can I take you home then? No. Nope. <laughs> Given how things are with my dad, that's probably not a great idea. Thanks, though. Bye. <laughs> Why wouldn't the doctor call Brian? Look at Brian. He about to go snitch, too. Arya said, I can't believe tonight's been such a bust. Hannah said, seriously, I let all these creepers into my house for what? We got nothing except two broken vases. Spencer said, and the worst part is wondering when A is going to strike next. Because they're going to strike again. Emily said, hey, did Jess tell anyone where she was going? Arya said, she gone? I figured she was in the bathroom or something. Emily said, I saw her leave. She looked scared. Arya said, I wonder what happened. Hannah said, and more importantly, why didn't she tell us? Spencer said, leaving without a word to any of us screams hiding something. Emily said, we don't know that. It could be anything. Family stuff or something. Oh, shoot. <laughs> y'all they said you really should keep a closer eye on Jess little liars the last time Allie looked away she wound up dead Anna said what does that even mean <laughs> Arya said I think A said Jess knows something about that night the night Allie died Emily said Jess didn't have anything to do with Allie's disappearance she might have secrets but nothing like that oh shoot is this A again A said don't believe me if you want to know the truth about Jess, go to the last place Allie was seen. Y'all, is A in the house? Why did he know the conversation? <laughs> he or she, whoever A is. Like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Arya said, the kissing rock? I mean, that's where Allie was in that video with Ian. Emily said, it don't matter. A is lying to us. If Jess knew anything about that night, she would have told us. Spencer said, of course A is lying, but that doesn't mean we can ignore this. A is up to something. Hannah said, and when A's up to something, we gotta check it out. Arya said, to the kissing rock we go. Okay. 
<laughs> y'all. Look at Lisa. Lisa been in a coma. How did she know she even in Rosewood? You know what I'm saying? Because she was in the other town. Dr. Ulrich said, may I help you? Yeah, I'm Jess. A doctor called me here. He said Lisa was awake and wanted to talk to me. She said, I'm sorry. I don't know who called you, but <laughs> as the attending physician, this patient is under my care. And I decided that she needs rest until the authorities arrive. I said, but she asked to see me. Dr. Ulrich said, until Detective Ruiz arrives, no one is seeing Lisa. Ruiz? Y'all. <laughs> I gotta find a way in there. Lisa was my best friend and she needs me. And I need to know what she knows before A or the cops get to her. The doctor said, I'm afraid you gotta leave now, girl. I like your bob, sis, but I gotta talk to Lisa. Hold on, we gotta get past that doctor. Okay, it's time to end this. It's time to end this, put that night to bed. I got an idea. Let's ask Lisa if she wants to talk to me. She said, excuse me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Not me just running past this doctor. Lisa. Lisa said, Jess, you're really here. I can't believe it. Okay, Lisa, you were in a coma, girl. You're just running out to bed. <laughs> I'm so relieved you're here. Dr. Ulrich said, hey, <laughs> what you think you're doing? Lisa said, it's okay, doctor. Please give us some time. Look at her being mad. She said, fine, you have 10 minutes. Okay, shut up. Get on. Lisa said, come, sit down. Lisa, you should be sitting down because you've been in a coma for like a year, haven't you? I can't believe you awake, no, sis. Can't believe you're okay. I didn't realize how scared I was until now. The accident, it was so bad. I just... She said, the truth is, I don't really remember the accident. I don't remember much about that night period. The last thing I remember is dancing with Brian. Okay, no wonder she being so nice to me. Because I was kissing your man. She don't remember what I did. She said, the last thing that came to mind when I woke up was, you've always been like family to me, Jess. Through the good times and the bad, I could always count on you. I feel the same way, sis. So much has happened since you've been away. She said, I know. You live in Rosewood now? I bet you have a whole life here. I can only imagine how much your life has changed. How you know I live in Rosewood, Lisa? <laughs> I never stopped thinking about you, sis. Not for a single day. Okay, y'all, are we gonna be honest with Lisa about... Nah, we leaving the past in the past. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I can't tell her the whole truth. Not yet. The accident was horrible, girl. You and I left the dance. And I don't know what happened. We lost control of the car and hit a tree. She said, it's okay, Jess. We're safe now and everything's going to be okay. It's going to be just how it used to be. Lisa, it's something you should know, girl. Ever since your accident. Well, Brian and I have been spending a lot of time together. Trying to support each other through all this. We didn't mean for anything to happen, but, well, it did. I'm sorry, Lisa. So sorry, sis. The last thing either of us wanted to do was hurt you. She said, I understand. You do? <laughs> she said, I always know you were in love with him. I don't like it, but I don't blame you. Okay, Lisa knew. She knew I was in love with Brian and she dated him anyway. Why would she do that? Lisa said, Jess, what is it? You look strange. Um, I'm gonna ask gently. You said you knew how I felt about Brian? Lisa said, Jess, I've done so many things I'm ashamed of. That's just the tip of the iceberg. What you mean, sis? What you done that you ashamed of? She said, I didn't start dating Brian despite your feelings for him, Jess. I started dating him because of those feelings. Look, a few months before the accident, I got this anonymous text. I've always known I was adopted, but this person, he or she, told me that my biological mother, well, that she was your mother... At first, I didn't believe it, but I found the adoption papers in my parents' stuff. We're half-sisters, Jess. Oh, my God. I was so angry. I felt like you had the perfect life, the one that I was supposed to have. I was so jealous and angry, and when Brian seemed interested in me, dating him just seemed like a way to have part of that perfect life. I should have told you we were sisters right away. I'm so ashamed that I didn't. How you feel about all this? <laughs> 
girl um like my life been a lie how can my parents keep this from me from us she said i don't know what were they thinking i have a sister my best friend is my sister and no one ever thought to tell me all right lisa may be my sister but that's not the only secret she's been keeping time to get to the bottom of this i'm gonna have to pay for it okay no <laughs> lisa i appreciate you telling the truth about this but there's something else i need to know and she said okay sure those presents they're from someone who we both know in a sense what's your connection to a why are they sending you presents you better tell the truth she said you're right i do know a but i didn't tell you because i wanted to keep you safe say girl what you talking about <laughs> she said the person who told us about our mother it started with little tips about my past but soon they started blackmailing me oh my god lisa what then why are you coughing like this lay down why are you standing up anyway lisa said i suddenly don't feel so good dr ulrich said all right jazz time for lisa to get some rest girl but the doctor said it's been a trying day for lisa she shouldn't push herself too far now i'm gonna have to ask you to leave okay lisa get back in the bed you probably sick because you jumped out the bed running towards me oh my god y'all <laughs> hey brian <laughs> okay here got everybody else y'all Arya said okay now what and i said i don't know we join hands and chant bloody mary lord okay look under the rock to find the secret just kept in her locket a hey. the secret y'all somebody get it then <laughs> y'all out here at the kissing rock okay emily said it's a letter from from jess to lisa hannah said omg what is that in the corner maybe it's ketchup <laughs> hannah said i know ketchup that is not ketchup spencer said you guys Allie took that locket the night she disappeared emily said so that don't mean nothing hannah said it might first jess writes this angry note then lisa winds up in a coma then Allie takes Jess's locket and winds up, you know, dead. Arya said, M's right. This has to be A messing with us. Spencer said, but no one was awake the hour Allie disappeared. There's no way to know what happened. Okay, look at A, y'all. <laughs> Brian, what you doing here? He said, I was worried about you, so I followed you. How could you not tell me that Lisa was awake? Cause you ain't get the call. The doctor called me. He ain't called you. I wanted to talk to her by myself. You know what I'm saying? When the doctor called, she said Lisa wanted to talk to me. Only me. He said, really? Why would Lisa say that? She's my friend too, Jess. Okay, of course she is. But after everything that happened, I wanted to see her alone too. I needed to make things right. Why you following me anyway, Brian? Brian said, I guess that makes sense look i'm sorry can you forgive me he said of course oh my god what happened lisa <laughs> lisa what happened she said someone someone was in here a hoodie injected something into my iv he left through the window took the fire escape lisa did you see his lisa lisa get up lisa brian said what do we do jess it's, it had to be a bro i don't even know how a got in here and we were standing at the door but okay <laughs> brian said we have no idea what a injected lisa with i don't i don't even know what to do we gotta do something what we supposed to do brian since you got your degree you know everything we gotta catch a y'all hold on okay we gotta get to the roof and head this guy off he said, I know the way. Okay, why didn't we just go out the window like he did? <laughs> we ain't gonna stay with Lisa, just in case they come back. All right, I guess not. <laughs> Look at, hey, y'all. Give it up. Give it up, we caught you. Turn around. Hold on. 
do we ask who they are demand to know what they did to lisa what you do to lisa hello tell us what you did to lisa i'll push you can we not just mona y'all <laughs> look at her laughing what you doing here why did you attack lisa she said oh jess you've always been a little slow on the uptake a said there was a traitor among us. That was you. She said, maybe, maybe not. Look at her flipping her hair, y'all. <laughs> all this time. It was all you. Are you A? She said, captivity can make strange bedfellows, can it? Y'all. She said, I'm no villain, Jess. At least no more than you are. But if anyone is pushed far enough, they're capable of anything. I said, like torturing people you pretend to be friends with. She said, I have my motives and my goals, and I don't owe you an explanation for either. Hit her. Hit her, Jess. <laughs> a got something on you, don't she? Mona said, A has something on everyone. I said, at least tell us what you injected Lisa with. Mona said, it was a barbiturate dose to put her back in her coma. Girl, I cannot believe you would betray your friends like this after everything we did to save you. Mona said, we were never friends, girl. <laughs> we're pawns in a game you can't possibly understand. Dad said, Jess, oh, shoot. Honey, are you okay? Daddy, I'm fine. It's Mona. Get Mona. The person who hurt Lisa, we caught her. Brian said, it's true. We followed her up here and cornered her. Dad said, where is she then? Y'all, Mona did jumped off the building. <laughs> she was right here with Mona. She said she gave Lisa a barbiturate dose. Y'all, Dr. Ulrich said, thanks, Jess. That'll help us save Lisa. Okay, well, go do it. Y'all, that's crazy. Okay, Heather said, I'm telling you, Jess not being honest. I mean, what do we really know about her? Emily said, and I'm telling you, she's one of us. I'm tired of letting A get in our heads like this. Spencer said, we need to keep our minds open to any and all possibilities. At least until we have more. Oh, shoot. What now? It's A again. Welcome to the end game, bees. <laughs> it's her. Oh, my God. 